Visual Studio 2026 just dropped alongside .NET 10 and it is a banger release. It is packed full of performance improvements that make it blazing fast to load up solutions. It has a beautiful new UI design with beautiful themes and it has tons of little tweaks and tunes along the way that make everyday development delightful and is also infused with AI development and tons of brand new performance improvements. I've been rocking every single preview release of Visual Studio 2026 and the Insider's Build, and there is tons of goodies. So go download 2026, but I wanna tell you about three absolutely astonishing new features that you need to try out today inside of the latest Insider's released. So let's get into it. Visual Studio 2026 is here, but I'm already rocking the insiders. It's got the latest enhancements and a bunch of new features for Copilot chat. I want you to head over to the Copilot icon, settings, options, of course, install insiders if you haven't yet. And there are three important brand new settings to turn on. First is enabling planning. This enables Copilot to do multi-step planning. It can create plans, track plans, and adapt plans on the fly during execution. You can also now enable Copilot coding agent. This enables you to delegate tasks off to the cloud agent. So it'll go off and create a pull request and work in the background for you. You can fire those off automatically. And then one of my favorite features are custom agents. Now directly built into Visual Studio 2026, you can enable specific instructions like the WinForms and C-Sharp experts automatically in requests. It knows that this is a WinForms app. It's going to use the WinForms expert and be good to go. So now if we come down over here, we can check out the tools. We can say I got the Copilot ones built in. If I go down here, we also have the planning as well. I can always use at, and there's a bunch of things that I can do like tests and modernize and look at the debugger and context. And now the Copilot coding agent as well in the background and delegate those off. I can go ahead and type something in here, like putting in a plan to reinvent and modernize the look with a fluent design style. I could go ahead and just kick this off to the cloud agent to have it go and do it, but I'm going to go ahead and have it create a plan right in place for me and start to execute. So it's going to use all of my own custom instructions, but it's also going to understand the entirety of the application and get to work. So it's searching my code base, it's looking at different references and putting together a plan for me based on the WinForms application I have. So let's check it out. Here we can see we have the entirety of the overview, the plan steps, when it was last updated, and a cool little ASCII artwork here to follow the progress. So this is pretty cool. And we can see exactly what it's gonna do. And this is because it's using that for me. So I'll say, let's do it. Awesome. So now it's gonna go ahead and start to execute this plan for me and then update it in real time. So we can see already that we're getting the little icon that the researching the fluent design principles is getting to work. It's gonna create the fluent colors, the fluent button text box panel, and so much more. So let's go ahead and let it rip and see what happens. All right, let's see what happened. We got an entire system here that we can go ahead and check into our source code, understanding the entirety of the Fluent system. We take a look at the Git changes. We have modifications to the existing application and brand new Fluent buttons, colors, panels, text boxes, and so much more. And I got this beautiful output of everything that happened. Let's go ahead and run it and just see what happens now that it's built successfully here. And in just a few minutes, uh, yeah, this is Wow, this is looking really good uh, with rounded corners, background colors here, my drop downs and new entries, a little bit of spacing that I could go ahead and deal with, but easy enough to easily modify back and forth, which is really cool. Go ahead and save it and I get nice buttons. It looks way more modern than I could ever have. And I have brand new pop ups as well that I think are looking super good. I love it. So in just a few moments, using the built-in planner to get a full plan mode going on here, MCP tools were used as well, built in there, executing the plan, getting updates in real time, and using the built-in WinForms expert, able to take my application from something straight out of the box, file a new project, to a full, beautiful, more fluent design style. 
Well, there you have it. Have you installed Visual Studio 2026 yet? Man, you just got to get it and get on the Insider's Build for the latest improvements. Check out the release notes and everything from .NET Conf, the Visual Studio 2026 launch, and so much more. Put links in the show notes below. And if you like this video, like, subscribe, ring that notification bell. You know what to do. Thanks for watching. Thank you.